Let's program and be creative. It's time for MIT App Inventor. In this video, we're going to go over MIT App Inventor pixels and binary conversion. You can see these are the files you're going to need. So make sure you download these. And here's what our app is going to look like. We're going to have a home screen where why is binary used? You're going to type in, based on what you've learned so far about binary numbers, why do you think binary numbers are used for computers? That's for the user to read. Then you have two buttons, draw pixels and binary conversions. That'll take you to this screen where you can draw using pixels like this, which is on or off, which is similar to binary. Or you can actually down here, type in a binary number and convert it to decimal, or type in a decimal number and convert it to binary. Very similar to what we did in our unplugged activity when we were learning about binary. So this is what we're going to do. Let me go ahead and show you the app. So you can see I have some background music. And I give you these two that you could use. One is test your might. The other one, let's just see. The other one is MK Beats. Remember, the sound's gonna sound slow because I'm using the emulator, but it won't sound like this if you test it on a tablet or phone. So this is your homepage. I click on Draw Pixels. You can see here, this page, I can scroll up and down, and you can see I can draw different stuff. So, by turning on or off pixels. See if I wanted something like that. So I can turn that off. Maybe I want to look something like a skull. So this is just a quick similar bits are on or off. That's on, that's off. Now you see it has a sound there. You can get that sound from right here, pixel on and off. You'll have to use that. All right, so you see here on this page, I can kind of, maybe I wanted to make something like that. So I got some flowers. Or you can just draw other things. And you see anytime you turn it on, these are bits off and on. It makes a sound. So that's how you can kind of draw different things. If I scroll down here, I can convert from decimal to binary. And it'll show the result right here. And down here, I can convert from binary to decimal. So for example, one, zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero. Let's see what that is. If I press to decimal, Here's what we found. 133. So this is what we're going to try to build. So let's go ahead and start a new project. And we're going to call it binary numbers pixels. And let's go back to our class page. Again, this is what we're looking for. Remember, you need to download these files. You can see I already have these files here, so I don't need to download them. I already have them saved on my computer. But let's open up these so I can design this. So this is our home screen. You can see I'm gonna need a picture at the top. I have a background image. I need to see binary numbers by Jamie Cant. Then I need to have a text box, a label, and two 
buttons. So let's work on the background and the title. So over here in App Inventor, you can see it says screen one. Let's go ahead and just update that now. Here, I'm gonna change this to binary numbers by obviously put your name and actually instead of me putting Jamie Gant, so you don't do that, make sure you put your name. Now, the app name right here, binary numbers and pixels, I wanna make that, this is what shows up in your app gallery as the name. So I'm just gonna call it binary numbers. My background image, I'm gonna go ahead and upload. And you can see, I give you a bunch of different backgrounds that you can choose from. I give you five different ones. I kinda like that one. I also like this one. Oh, let's just, I'll, I'll choose this one for now. And you can see all the pictures have ones and zeros on them. Um, the icon. The icon is the image that shows up in your app gallery right above the name. So I'm just going to use one of these other things. Normally you can have a different picture. Maybe I like that. All right. So let's look at what we have here. Why is binary used? That is another picture that I have. So that is an image. I'm going to drag this in. Just gonna call it IMG Y binary. I'm gonna upload that picture. And you can see Y binary used. Uh, let's make the width feel parent. Let's make the height something like 150 pixels. So that's how it looks there. Feel parent, let's do scale. And there you go. Now let's look at next, I have this text box and then a label. So over in my user interface, I'm gonna pull in text box. I'm also gonna pull in a label. Let's just pull in everything. Then I have a horizontal arrangement with two buttons. So I have layouts, horizontal arrangement, and I have two buttons inside of there. So this text box, number one, if you look at it, it's kind of centered. So I wanna center my entire screen. So I'm gonna click on screen and you can see a line horizontal here. I'm gonna change that to center. Now this, I'm gonna rename it TBX Y binary. And inside of here, I'm gonna get rid of the hint. We're not actually gonna be, text box are usually for input. We're not gonna use this as input. We're just gonna use it as a message to the user for them to read and Inside of text here, if you look at the example, type in your own words, why is binary used in computers here for the user to read? So in this box, it's not me typing. You're gonna type. You've just learned about binary. So here, type in your own words, why computers use binary for the user to read. And I'm gonna make this multi-line. You can see how it looks over here. And with, I wanna make it, let's say 90, something like that. There you go. Now we have this label interact with binary numbers. So I'll just call it LBL interact binary. And you can make it whatever colors you want. Since that's blue at the top, I'm gonna to make it blue. And interact with binary numbers and you can play around with this i might make it 20. i'll make the width feel parent i'll make the color something like yellow and i probably want to center that as well maybe make it that and bold and something like that now i have two buttons this is button pixels and what did I have here? Draw pixels. So I'm gonna say draw pixels. The color, I'll make it white and I will make it red. I also will make this bold and make the shape rounded. Horizontal arrangement, I'm gonna take off the background. So there you go, that looks pretty good. The draw pixels, I might wanna make this bigger. Let's make it 18. Now this button, if we go back and look at it, it says binary conversion. So I will say BTN binary conversion. They're both gonna link to the same place, but we're gonna just show the user when they open up. 
that they have options. So again, I'll make that 18. This will say binary conversion. I'll make it the same color, red. I'll make the text white and I'll make this bold. And my shape would be rounded. And that's what I have right here. But again, you've learned so much stuff. We haven't done any media. So what can you do? You can add in a player for PLY BG music for background, right? And maybe loop it. And I might upload one of these. So I might do MK Beats. And let's make it like 20 so it's not too loud. What other stuff can you do? You've used everything inside of here, so you can use your creativity and add something else here. For example, text to speech. And how could you use that in there? You can decide that. So that is pretty spot on. Um, I might want to, let's see how it looks if I center. So I can maybe center it like that. Again, it's your creativity, however you want. All right, so that is your home screen, designing your home screen. Let's get on to the meat of this, which is designing this screen. So I'm going to add a screen and I'll call it binary numbers and pixels. All right, so here we are here. And looking at this, it says pixels with binary numbers by Jamie. So I'm going to update my title first right here. Pixels with binary numbers by your name. Now, you could use that same background. I used a different one. So let's update that. See, I could use that background too here. I could use that one if I wanted to. Or I gave you some other backgrounds as well. So just to show you, this is background one. This is background five, four. I like four. So there you go. Now let's look at this. I have a home image at the top, then a label, then another image, then a label. So image, label, image, label. Then we have this pixel table. So let's just drag that out. I have image, I have a label, I have image, I have a label. So this first image is IMG home. I'm gonna make it 35 pixels for the width and height. I'll make it clickable and I'll upload my picture. The next is thinking about binary and pickles. So I'll just rename this LBL think about binary. And this will say thinking about binary and pixels. Again, I can make it whatever I want, whatever color. So let's just say I make it red and white and maybe I make it 16 and I make it fill parent and I make it bold and I center it. Now I also want this home centered, so I'm gonna go back to my screen and make sure my align horizontal here, but I make it center. Next one is the image of the pixels. So image, pixels, example, and I'm just gonna upload that. So that is right here, binary pixels example. And obviously I wanna make it fill parent and scale it and let's make it something like let's see a 75 75 looks fine all right so now i have this which is the user message turn bits below on or off by touching them to draw your picture so if i come here let's rename it lbl user info and it was turn bits on or off. Turn bits below on or off by touching them to draw your picture. Turn bits below on or off by touching them to draw your picture. And again, we're gonna make this fill parent and I'll make it similarly, whatever color I had, red and white so turn bits off and you can see it looks weird here but it's showing up fine over here and maybe i'll change this color to make it stand out yeah i'll do something like that or maybe i'll change this one to white and i'll change this one at the top to yellow something like that 
Again, use your creativity however you want. Now, we have a table. A table is something new that we have not used before. And it's simply columns and rows. So let's count how many we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight bits, which is a byte. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have eight by six. So here, I'm gonna come and inside of layout, you can see I have a table arrangement. I'm gonna drag that in. How many columns? We have eight columns. How many rows? I think we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, six. There we go. Now, each one of these are actually buttons. So when I was testing it, I'm just touching a button, turning it on or off. And each one of these button sizes are 35. So come over here and you can see this is a button and I'm gonna make it 35 by 35. Get rid of the text and the background color, I'm just gonna make it white. So for these, these are just pixels. I could rename them, but normally we rename components when you're gonna code using them and you might get confused if button one or button two, what that is. But because all of these are gonna be buttons and the way we're gonna code it, I'm not gonna rename all these. I'm just gonna simply pull these, pull these in. So again, I'm just going to get rid of the text, make the background color white, and make the width 35 pixels by 35 pixels. And let's keep going there and there. And you can see here, I'm gonna do the same thing, white. 35 pixels, 35 pixels, get rid of the text. Same thing, white, 35 pixels, 35 pixels. Now, all right, so let's fill the rest of these in. That's one there and one there. And now instead of making this phone size, I'm gonna make it tablet size so I can see more stuff. And white, get rid of the text. 35 by 35 and white. Get rid of the text. 35 by 35. I got two more. So you can see it's starting to shape up. The only thing I want is I want black in between these things. So if you look at table, table doesn't have a background. So what I'm gonna do is pull in a horizontal arrangement and then my table, I'm gonna move that inside of that. So now I can click on my horizontal arrangement and make the background color black. So now you can see I kind of have that kind of effect. All right, so this is pretty redundant. Go ahead and pause the video and fill in the rest of this table with buttons. So there, you should have this. You should have, if you look into it, you have 48, six times eight rows is 48 different buttons inside of there. And that's, I know it took a lot of work, but that's how we're gonna code our little pixels to turn these on or off to kind of draw inside of here. All right, so let's see what else we got left. We've got a label, a horizontal arrangement with some inputs and then we have another label and some text input. So two labels with horizontal arrangements in between them. So I'm gonna do two labels. I'm gonna go to layouts. I'm gonna pull in two horizontal arrangements. And there we go. So this one, let's just see, converting binary to, to decimal. So this, I'm gonna minimize my table. I'm just gonna rename this LBL binary to decimal. 
and I'll say converting binary to decimal. And again, I can do this however I want. I'm gonna keep it kind of the same colors that I've used. You can use whatever colors you want. I'll do center and I'll do yellow, make this bold, and I want the width to be fill parent. And this label is the opposite, LBL, this is decimal to binary. Again, I will keep it kind of consistent for mine. I'll make it centered, converting decimal to binary. So there you go. Now, if we look at this, we have a couple other things and we're done with the design of this. So I have eight bits, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a button that says to decimal. So let's go ahead back. I'm gonna put in my button here. I'm gonna rename it BTN binary to decimal. And I'm just gonna say to decimal. And maybe I make that yellow and rounded. And maybe I make the text red and bold. And now I need to have text inputs for eight different bits. So I'm just gonna drag eight of these in here. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure that my horizontal arrangement, the width, is going to be fill parent. Make sure I make the background none. Now for all of these, these are gonna be the different bit locations. So the one right here, first let's just make all of these fill parent so you can see all of them. So by making them fill parent, all of these text boxes will split the remaining space equally. So you can see there's that. Now, what do I wanna do? And I'm also missing a label on the other side. I forgot about that. So this is LBL binary to decimal result. And I'm gonna make that just white. I'll put a question mark inside of there and maybe I make it a little bit bigger. Now that's, at the very top, that's my horizontal arrangement. So I'm gonna click on horizontal arrangement and I'm going to, I'm gonna change my line vertical to center. That way it's right there. Now for these, these are the little bit digits. That, so you can put either a one or zero in here, press this button and it'll give us the result. For this, so this is my zero, two to the zero, two to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's name those that way, that way we know. So I'm gonna call it TBX bit seven. I also wanna get rid of the hint inside of there. I also wanna make sure that I do numbers only. And even though they might be able to put in a number two, three, four, we're going to check to make sure that they're only putting in a one or zero. So this one is the bit location six, so TBX bit six, and get rid of this, numbers only, come here, TBX for text box. This is bit five, again I'm going to get rid of this and make it numbers only, TBX bit four, I'm going to get rid of the hint and make it numbers only, TBX bit three, get rid of the hint, make this numbers only, TBX bit two, get rid of this, make it numbers only, TBX bit one, get rid of this, make it numbers only, TBX bit zero, get rid of this, make it numbers only. So I could have just made one text box here, but I wanted to emphasize the different bits as you're learning how to convert from binary to decimal. So that's why we made these 
eight different text boxes and call them the bit location. So this is bit location zero, one, two, three, four, five, which is things that you need. That way you really understand how to convert binary. All right, so that looks good. We have that. At the bottom, we're just gonna have one text box with a button. So there's my horizontal arrangement. So I will go ahead and drag in this. I will drag in my button and I need a label on the other side. So this, and I will minimize my that. So this text box is TBX, and this is decimal to binary, and this button is BTN, decimal to binary, and I will say to binary. Obviously, I will make it the same colors that I did my other button. Bold, and I think I made it 16 and rounded and then this is lbl for label decimal to binary result and i'm just going to put a question mark in there again i want to make the background white and i'll make that 16 and then i need to make my horizontal arrangement top align center and there we go so now this is the completed design for our binary numbers and pixels in the next video we will go ahead and code this app